Yeah, you don't gotta say hey. It's your girl Natalie? Whatever you want. Okay, mm -hmm. are we starting over? Yeah. What it is, what it does, your boy Jam Kai. And Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I messed it up. It's because I'm so used to you saying what it is, what it do, it's your boy Jam Kai. What it is, what it do, it's your boy Jam Kai. Towns for us in the building. You already know what it is. You already know what it do. Right. We're trying to get used to this new intro thing. <laughs> what it is, what it do, it's your boy Jam Kai. It's your girl Natalie. And welcome. You supposed to. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mom B. It's your girl Natalie. And welcome back to our channel. Or okay, 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 okay. All right. What it is, what it do, it's your boy Jamakai. It's your girl Natalie. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to, to our another channel. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, what it do, it's your boy Jamakai. It's your girl Natalie. And welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. <laughs> so, guys, as y'all can see by the title, this is another story time. And yes, we got our popcorn ready so we haven't like officially announced that we do turbo mm. if you know you know <laughs> and now we, you know <laughs> yeah i mean our vlogs well so far we've only done one vlog that um consisted of us talking about turbo but yes we have been working behind the scenes trying to get this business running make sure y'all comment down below make sure you subscribe share give us some more ideas some challenges some other interesting things we can do but let's get into this story time we got a booking right it was very last minute turbo called me and was like is your vehicle available we have somebody who has been tr having trouble trying to get into a vehicle this morning so i'm like oh yeah no problem like we were actually doing a turbo run in the middle of that call like you were getting the car ready somewhere and i had the other car and we just came from the car wash right? yeah we did come from the car wash then i get a notification on my phone and i see okay it's a female I'm like, okay, like, cool. Another thing that I check, or that we both check, is their ratings. Yeah. To see how well of a guest they are. This girl had one star ratings. I was like, oh. I started getting a little, like, uh, eyebrow raised when I saw that rating. The host that she had rented from also left a comment on her rating saying that she broke something in his vehicle and that she gave him the runaround. She was hard to like communicate with. So it was like, okay, I'm praying this girl doesn't do nothing crazy with our car, right? Within like 10 minutes, I get a call. While I'm trying to prepare this car, it was her. She just starts telling me about her day. It was like, what, like 10 maybe? She was like, I've been trying to get in a car. Like my first renter, they um, canceled last minute cause they had to go to the hospital or something. And then my other renter, like they just canceled on me. Like I was waiting for the car, this and that. And I was on the phone with her for like a good minute. It wasn't like two minutes, it was like, like seven minutes. She said a few things that was like, okay, did you have to tell me that? She starts telling me that you don't have to worry about nothing. Like I treat all the cars as if they were my own. So she picks up the car, right? She's at the car. She's ready to get the car for us to unlock it for her. She sends a photo of herself because that's one of our requirements. Babe says she looks like a demon. <laughs> Cause I had that feeling she about to wreck something. That's why. If I say you look like a demon, I don't literally mean it. I just mean like your energy is giving me a weird, weird vibe. And this girl did not listen because I also told, like she also said like, oh, do you prefer communication through text? I was like, yeah, through the Turo app. 
And she kept texting us on my phone. So that was another thing. I was like, okay, this girl's not listening. Yeah, a lot like of she things literally, she didn't listen. She literally asked me about it, but she just goes against what I said. We didn't have any issues with her until that like, night. This is like what? A whole week later? Yeah, she booked the car for like a week. Um, she did end up extending like a day before her scheduled um, Oh yeah, she did extend. She before her scheduled end trip. The day when she's supposed to bring it back. Mm -hmm. You can carry this on now. Ah! She was supposed to bring it at like 8 30 p.m. Yes. But she ended up not bringing it at 8 p.m. And we yes. hit her we hit her up and we mm -hmm. like, hey, what's going on? She hit it no retract she hit us up an hour before she's supposed yes. to bring the car back and she's like hey my wallet just got stolen um i'll extend the trip yada 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 and i'll bring the car back today right we like all right cool i told her off the best she not gonna bring that car back what what you mean she not gonna bring that car back i already had the feeling we asked her we were like okay are you gonna extend your trip because it's time to bring the car back yeah also we knew she was not gonna bring the car back because she was like two hours away oh yeah we got that gps yes <laughs> so we knew where she was at so and and we were waiting because like it's 8 p.m right we're missing sleep we can't do nothing until like we know she's like on her way all that time that her wallet was stolen she, she didn't driving. extend. She was just driving around. She, she was driving around. She did not even extend her trip. Nope. And she had she had the time to. It's like six hours after your trip time, you can still extend it. But after that, you're penalized. You have to bring it back. All that day, we were trying to reach her. She no gets us with well. Sorry, I was at work. I, she, we told her, bring the car back. She goes... Do you guys want me to bring, I can bring it back tonight at 8.30 if y'all need me to. But actually, I'm going to have to bring it at about 12 a.m. because I don't have a ride. I don't have a ride. As we told her again, bring the car back now. Yeah. And then she goes, yeah, I, I don't want to make it an inconvenience for y'all. So whatever y'all need me to do, let me know. <laughs> well, I'm going to clap you there read in. You're not reading up to in. All right. And all this time, she's just driving back and forth around. She's like an hour away from where we are, right? So, I'm like, baby, we're going to have to go get this car. What? I'm like, we're going to have to go get this car. Because I know she's not going to bring it back. You're like, you don't think she, she's like, man, she's like, you don't think she's going to bring it back? I'm like, nah, she's not. Look at what she's doing. She's like, all right, what we going to do then? I said, when 12, I was like, when 12 o'clock come around, 12 a.m. come around, we get in the car. I was just chilling. She runs to me quick. She turned the car off. It was like 12.30. 1, 1 a.m. comes. We said, all right, let's go. Took like an hour to get over there, right? We It's real dark over there. It's like... like it's early it's in the morning. It's 1.30. It's, but we, we pull up in there. We see the hotel, right? We pop up. Wait, where's the car at? Where's the car at? We see the car, right? I felt like a criminal. Facts. I felt like some, some criminals, like something. We can't even steal a car. Like somebody just did us dirty, didn't give us <laughs> our money. Like, we're all taking right. your car. Like, all right, bet. I see the car. I was like, all right, we'll pull up over there. She pulls up. I hop out that car. I open the car, because we have an extra key. Open the car, got in that thing. Whipped off. <laughs> Whipped off. Then we get to the gas station. And I'm like, all right, bet, yeah, we over here, dead. We like, yeah, we lit. And I'm like, ha, ha, ha. And I look in the back seat, and there's a guitar in the back. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to keep her guitar. But then when I really started looking, bro, I'm like, babe, they was living up in here. She's like, what you mean? She look up in there. She like, yo, they had clothes all on the bottom. It was a spill on the floor. Trash. trash. There was trash in, in the middle console. Like, yes. literally trash in the middle console. Like a trash can. Like, and then on top of that, y'all, because we discovered it, they had a dog in there. 
<laughs> and tell us why the carpet smelled like piss. Yeah. Why did it smell like piss? It didn't smell like that before, so what happened? You're not supposed to have dogs in there. I don't have no problem with the dog. I'm just saying, the dog pissed on the floor. <laughs> so, we seeing all this at the gas station, and we here throwing the trash out. Open the trunk. They got bottles all in the trunk. I mean, like, yo, like, they was really living up in here, like, for real. So. They had money laying around there. They had a backpack in there, too. It was a, and then they had like, her credit card was in there. Everything was up in there. Oh, then their key card for their door yeah. was in there. And that's how I knew that was the, the room that they were in. So I'm like, all right. And I know some of y'all have been like, man, I would have just left. I'm not a type of version. So we just got everything. We put it in this plastic bag. We went back to the hotel. We met this nice old lady and we're like, hey. This is for so-and-so. They're in room da 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 da. Can you please give this to them? She's like, oh, yeah, sure. Left. <laughs> Left. The car was on empty, had to fill it up. All of that. Had to dip. So we didn't even tell yeah. her that we took I mean, the that's car. Still we said we left your belongings at the hotel. Yeah, she panicked and was like And then she's like, I realized I report the car is stolen. Yeah, she's like, I realized that y'all took the car. She said that. We left her there stranded. Let us know how y'all feel about that. We left her stranded. Because I don't feel like we left her stranded. And the reason why I'm going to say we didn't is just a simple fact of we gave her chance after chance. She listened to nothing we had to say. We have a booking the next day. Yeah, no, we didn't leave you stranded. We're also in 2022. Get an Uber. <laughs> oh, she said, I have to be at work this morning. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, well, you should have like, thought about that. Like, that's not our problem. Um, like we were on the phone with Turo, like, okay, what can we do? What can we do? They gave us green light. Yeah, y'all go ahead and get the car. And we understand that it is a very dangerous thing to go get yeah, your car. Yeah, that was dangerous to do, <laughs> especially at that dangerous. time. That was dangerous. I wouldn't advise it. Yeah, I don't recommend y'all go do that. We did it at our own risk. After all that, you know, we weren't talking to her. We weren't. We were not entertaining what she said about, oh. I see y'all took the car. Like, we just let her think whatever. We said, your stuff is there. Bye. She kept calling my phone that morning for some reason. And I think she got her husband's phone, somebody else's phone, because it said the location on where she was. Maybe she was calling for her business card. I don't know, but she didn't even message it on Turo. Because the thing is, I wasn't about to answer to her if it was not going to be documented on Turo. Yeah, no. Because, nah. We're going to be at fault. Like, nah. Yeah, like, I have nothing to do with you at this point. Like, everything is going to be through Turo. We didn't get home until, like, four. Yes, we only ran on, like, two hours of sleep because the next day we had a booking. We had to take it to the car wash. I had to pee, right? No places were open. Don't go to no gas stations if you gotta pee. Go to a Denny's and IHOP. That's pretty much <laughs> it, right? A Denny's or an IHOP, because they be open 24 hours. Don't even bother at no gas station. Some hotels ain't even gonna let you, because the front desk is be closed. Yeah, I know. They be like, no outsiders. Yeah, it's been two whole days. It's starting to make me nervous.